Hi everybody, this is Steve Rizzetti, co-founder of MoviePicks.com and author of the MoviePicks.com Guide to Adobe Premiere Elements. And here we are in Premiere Elements, looking at some of the preferences in the program. Now in part one, we looked at some of the video preferences. In part two here, I want to look at some of the audio preferences. Again, on a PC, it's under the edit menu. If you go to preferences and we'll go to the audio page. On this particular page, the single most important preference has to do with your remixing. A few generations ago, Adobe added to Premiere Elements a remix feature. Now the remix feature only affects the music track, that's this lowermost track here on your timeline, but it takes virtually any song and when you trim it down, say a three minute song to a one minute song, the program automatically remixes it so it has a natural ending. It's not going to abruptly end at the end of the song. It's a very nice and complicated feature. If you don't like that feature, you can turn it off right here, as I have done. You can set it to remix. Remix is the default setting, and trim is the setting you use, and it will perform more like a traditional clip trim. Let me show you what I mean. We'll put this on remix. We'll close the preferences here for a second. I'm just going to drag down a song that I have to my timeline, and we'll toggle open that video track here. Now you can see that. Uh, when I hover over any video or audio track any place else in the program, I get this little trim indicator at the end of the clip. However, when trim is turned on, on only the music track, when I hover over the end of the video, I get a different sort of indicator. That is the trim indicator. And I've done a different tutorial on that. You can look at that. And when you trim it, it will turn on the trim feature. Let's go back to preferences here under the edit menu. And this time I'm going to audio hardware. This is a pretty common issue. If you use a USB microphone, as I'm using right now, every time you plug that microphone in, it kind of confuses Premiere Elements. In fact, it kind of confuses my whole computer. In my computer, I have to go and manually turn on my regular speakers because when I plug my USB microphone in, it switches everything over to uh, both my input and audio output over to USB. It also affects things here. Now right now the default output is my Realtek audio, high definition audio. Those are my speakers, that's good. But you notice it also has a setting here for USB audio device for my output. That won't work. I don't have a USB audio device for output. I only have my USB microphone for input. Now right now it's not seeing my microphone or my microphone is not set in here. If I were to record with my microphone and I wanted to record narration, this is where I change that setting if for some reason my microphone is not registering. I can select my microphone manually here. Don't worry about this. The rest of this you don't have to worry about, only default input and default output. Now sometimes when you use a USB microphone, later on you'll be playing your movie and you'll say, why don't I hear any sound from my movies? If that's a problem, come here to the audio hardware preferences and switch these around. Switch this to no input. Ignore that. Make sure this is set to your speakers and not to your microphone. If you have a headset plugged in, a USB headset, it can also confuse these preferences. So what you, pro what you want most of the time, what will work for you if you're not getting any audio, is to set this to default input, no input, and default output to your speakers. Those are the main settings you need to worry about with audio hardware and your audio preferences. If you've got any questions about how these work, or if you don't quite understand them, or you're having a problem setting these, be sure and drop by our community forum at moviepix.com. Post your question. We'll be glad to help you out. Otherwise, if you want to know everything there is to know about this program, check out the moviepix.com guide to Adobe Premiere Elements. It's available at amazon.com. I'm the guy who wrote the book. I'm Steve Grisetti, and I hope to see you again real soon.